Hello, I'm Nicola. Thanks so much for coming to my channel. Today we're going to do a full body workout, but with no exercises on your back. So this is a great option for anyone that has trouble with or because of pain or discomfort and can't lie on their back comfortably, or for anyone who's bored with working their core on their back. So I like to start all my workouts with a little bit of uh, some squats and just a little warm up to get the blood pumping and then we'll hit the mat. So I like to just take a couple of breaths in and out and really focus on finding the core muscles, the deep core, pelvic floor, transverse, and just slowing down the breath. All the air coming out, bring your arms to your side. We're going to come into some squats. As we lower down, I want you to think about being lifted by the chest. We're going to come down into our squats and then press up, find the glutes and the quads, lowering them and pressing, using both feet equally and up. I like to bring my arms just a little bit behind me, finding the back of my shoulder, back of my arm, and lower and press. Lower and we want to be working in both directions, not just on the way up. We're controlling the lowering and pressing through. And all the while, we're starting to think about the abdominals, drawing them towards the spine, just gently. And let's do about four more squats here. One, press. Two, really fire up the legs. Three, and four, and then shaking that off. Find the arms out in front of you. We're gonna just wake up the mid back. Reach your fingertips forward, and exhale as you squeeze the shoulder blades together. Protracting forward, and drawing the scaps. Reach forward, and pull back. And let's do three more. Pull. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Reach. And pull. And last one. And pull back. Let's roll the shoulder blades up and around. A few going backwards. And then let's do a few going forward. And one more, forwards, let your arms drop, drop the chin to the chest, draw the abdominals in, meeting with the top of your head, followed by your mid back and shoulders, let's round forward, drawing up the abdominals into a forward fold, only going as far as feels comfortable for you. And let's place the hands on the lower legs, pressing into the lower legs, reach your spine long, Halfway lift and exhale as you fold forward. And halfway lift, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Two more, lengthen and release down. And last one, reaching the top of the head. And exhale, folding down. Feel roundness in your spine and ragdolling back up. Keep a little bend in your knees. And your head and shoulders are the last thing to come up. Rolling these gaps. Let's reach down, grab one of your weights. We're going to stagger the uh, let's go right foot forward, left foot back, but hips are square. We're going to take this right arm, bring it down to the right thigh, but we're not going to collapse down. We're going to stay nice and lifted, almost like there was something on your thigh that you don't want to be able to reach your torso. So you're lifting away from the leg. Let's lower that weight down, keeping the scapula nice and stable. We're going to exhale as we open the arm wide. And then control it down as you inhale, exhale. 
exhale, pull the arm back, turn the sternum, looking up to the sky, and then lowering that weight down with control. And we're turning it up, and back down. Checking in with the abdominals, making sure they're still working for you, and lowering down. And again, reach, and down. Try to stay lifted here on that right side so you're not pressing down too much into the front thigh. And let's make this our last one here. Reaching up and controlling it all the way back down. Step forward, grab the other weight before we do the other side. We're going to do a set of hinged rows. So get into a nice bend in your knees. Reach your spine long. So I'm not completely horizontal. I've got a little bit of an angle. And I'm going to let the weights come forward, but I'm going to keep those shoulder blades. So don't let the weights fall too far. Really keep control in a nice stable shoulder. Draw the abdominals in. Let's exhale. Row the weights up. Inhale as they lower. Exhale. Pull up. Inhale, lower. So every time you bring the weights to you, you're drawing those abdominals closer. And reach. Pull in. Really squeezing the back of the shoulder and the shoulder blades. Let's do four more. Squeeze and lower. Again, work in both directions. The top of the head is reaching. And this is your last one. And releasing there. Let's stand up. Switching side. We're going to take that left thigh forward. Stepping forward into a slight lunge. Now you can drop this weight on the left hand. Bring your left arm down to your thigh. But don't collapse. Really stay lifted with the chest. Draw the abdominals close. And we're going to do the other side. Rotation up. And releasing back down. Exhale as you open. Draw the belly in. And inhale as you control it back. Your eyes are going to follow the weight if you can. And down. And pulling up. And back down. Let's do four more. Checking in that you still have connection with the center of your body. And down. And last one here. Pulling it up, reaching it, and then returning it where we started. Grabbing that other weight. One more set of hinge rows. So we get into a nice bend in the knee, send your spine out long, draw the abdominals in, and then keeping a nice stable scapula, exhale as you pull in, and inhale, reaching down. Pull, and reach. When we're letting gravity get a hold of these weights, we're going to keep it in our control. The top of the head is going one way, the sacrum is going the other. And the abdominals are supporting everything in between. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Releasing where we started, letting that go. We're going to take these weights off to the side now. We're going to roll down into a downward dog. So we're going to roll forward, fall through your entire spine, keep a micro bend in your knees, and then you're walking your hands out until you find that triangle shape of a downward dog. We're going to send the sit bones away from us, draw the belly up, push the floor away, and let's just pedal out the heels here. Getting a nice length in the calves, back of the hamstrings. And then just release your neck, making sure you're not jammed up in your shoulders. 
I like to use my whole hand, including my fingertips. I press down rather than just having it on the wrist and heel of my hand. And my palm, I like to use the whole hand. Take some pressure off. Now let's pause there. Set yourself up so that the shoulder blades are gliding down your back and the top of your head is reaching towards your mat. We're going to take a breath in here. As you exhale, inch your feet forward one at a time, four counts. One, two, three, and four. Just tiny little steps, sending your sit bones up to the ceiling. Take a breath in. Exhale, walking back four, three, two, and one. Holding there. Take a breath in. Checking in with the body. Exhale, back up. Four, three, two, and one. Big breath in. And heading back. Four, three, two, and one. Check your shoulders. Make sure they haven't jammed right into your ears. Two more. Four, three, two, and one. Really lift away from the floor. Send your sit bones up around your spine. Back, four, three, two, and one. Last one here. Shoulders are warm. Big breath in. Exhale, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, and walking the feet back out. Four, three, two, and one. Check that your abdominals are still really connected. And then let's lower the, bend the knees, lower down to the floor. Come right onto your forearms, sit into a shell stretch. And let's go off to one side. Walking your fingers to one side, feeling a nice long stretch. Down from your pinky all the way to your hip. And then gently come to your center, hang out there for just a moment. For Watch the shoulders to ears ratio here. My shoulders always want to be up in my ears. I have to constantly remind myself to let them release. And let's go off to the other side. And again, finding that long line from the pinky to the hip. And just breathing into all the little spaces between your ribs. Down your lats. And let's go back to center. Coming out to all fours. We're going to come into a forearm quadruped position. So your elbows are right under your shoulders, your knees are right under your hips. We're going to lower the sh between the shoulder blades, allow the shoulder blades to come towards each other. And do a scapular press as you exhale. Draw your abdominals close and press the shoulder blades away from each other. This is a tiny movement. Lowering down and pressing up. Kind of like you're floating in between your arms. Your torso floats down. And exhale. Draw the abdominals close and press through the scapulas. And lower. Using all those scapular stabilizers, pressing up. Let's do two more. And press. Last one. And press. Now staying in that lifted position. We don't want to sink into the shoulders. We want to stay lifted. Take your right leg out long behind you. Really reach through the leg. Feel an openness in the front of your hip. We're going to exhale as we bend into a hamstring curl. And reach the leg long. Now, I like to flex my foot. You can have your foot neutral or pointed. Whatever feels good for you. What we really want to do here is not lose the core connection and not lose the shoulder lifted position. We want to stay lifted, not sinking. Top of the head is reaching. Pulling that hamstring in, reaching it out long, and let's do three more. Pull it in. Essentially, your knee and leg are staying in place, and we're just hinging at the knee here. 
inhale, last one. And release. Letting that go, come off your shoulders for a moment, and then come right back out to do the other side. So let's find that lifted shoulder position here. The left leg reaches out long. Find the abdominals, find the glutes, and then exhale as you bend at the hamstring, or bend at the knee to find your hamstring. Reach it out long. Now bring your mind to what is happening with the other knee. You should be right in the center of the standing knee. Exhale, pulling in the hamstring, reaching it out, inhale, stay lifted. And pressing both arms equally into the floor. And reach. Let's do two more. Pull it in. Reach it long. Last one. And reach it long. And letting that go. Once again, coming to your shell stretch. Rounding over the knees. And let's just take a few deep breaths there. Our next set is going to be coming into some planking. You have options here. So for a modification, I'll show you. You would have your knees on the mat, but inch back slightly from your hands. So that you're forming what would look like a plank on your knees. And then you would tuck your toes underneath you. And the move would look like this. For the modification, you would just pick up your knees, send your hips back, and then come back forward to your plank, placing your knees down. We're going to exhale up like this, and inhale back down. If you wanted to do the full, we're going to find a full plank, engaging the glutes, engaging the abdominals, making sure they're all working together. And from here, moving as a hinge from the shoulder, you're going to exhale back into your crouched position. Inhale, coming forward. So those are the two options here, okay? You're choosing which one you want to go with. We're gonna find the position. I'm gonna start in a full plank. Draw the abdominals up, find the glutes, fire up the legs, reach the crown of the head. And from here, we're lifting the sit bones back to a crouch and then coming forward to a full plank. And exhale back and inhale, plank. And back. And plank. Making sure you're not losing the glutes. Really make sure they're turning them on each time you find that plank. And let's do four more. And back. Three. Two. And last one. Now finding your plank here, finishing off nice and long in the spine, draw the abdominals up, and then lower for a moment. Come back to shell, just momentarily taking a break. We're coming back out to our plank, so your options here for modification are to inch those knees back slightly, holding a plank. We're going to be alternating a pullback of each arm, trying to minimize rotation in the rest of the torso. So this is the modification. And if you're going to do the full, you'll be in your full plank, pulling an arm back, and alternating to the other side. The goal is to not have the hips shifting side to side. We want to keep them as still as possible. There will be a little movement, but we just don't want to be uh, swaying too much side to side. So let's choose the option for you. And finally, I'm going to find my full plank, and we'll go exhale, pull one arm back. Inhale, place it down. Exhale, the other hand, and inhale, down. Making sure you're not going to let that head drop. You're going to keep it lifted and long in the neck. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, pulling back, and inhale. Placing the whole palm down including the fingertips, and down. And let's do one more each side. 
Keep your mind on the abdominals. And holding there in your plank. Finishing strong, deep breath in. Exhale as we lower down. We're going to come into some rotations here. So just check in, make sure you're still aligned nicely. Abdominals are connected, hands are under shoulders. Let's take the right, or excuse me, the left arm, float it up into the air, eyes follow it, opening through the chest, squeezing the shoulder blade. Exhale, threading that arm through. Now the arm is staying above the ground here, above the floor. And we're just inhale, up, exhale, rotating through. I've got a little bend in my arm as I rotate that arm through. And reaching up and twisting through. And again. And let's do two more. And last one. Coming back to all fours, resetting. Checking alignment, checking in with the abdominals, floating the right arm up, follow it with your eyes. Exhale, threading through. Little bend in the elbow of the standing arm. And visualize your spine rotating. And up. Squeezing the back of the shoulder as we float the arm up. Squeezing, pulling the chest open. And let's do two more. And last one. Coming back to your all fours. Let's come up through a cat stretch. Deep breath in, long spine. Exhale as you draw the tailbone underneath. Roll up through the spine, pressing the rib cage up to the ceiling. Let your head be heavy. And exhale as you come out of it. Releasing the tailbone, releasing the mid back, and letting the head. One more time, big breath in, exhale, use the obliques to draw the pelvis, to tuck under, then roll through the low back, through the mid back, and then the upper back and neck. And again, coming out, tailbone first, middle back, and then the back of the head floats to the we're going to come into a side plank here. So again, you have options. You're, you can be, for a modification, we would have long arm using your full palm. Then the bottom leg is going to be bent. The top leg is long. Okay. And the move is here. We're going to have a, your hand behind your ear, behind your head. We're going to be exhaling to rotate, look down to the hand. Inhale as we open up. So this is the modification. And then if you want to go for the full up, we're going to stagger our feet. So your top foot is forward, your bottom foot is behind it, setting yourself up nice and long, draw the abdominals in, and we're here. Let's go for it. Inhale, prepare. Exhale as you rotate down to look at your hand. Inhale, we open up wide. Exhale, rotate. And inhale, open, exhale, lots of control in both directions, and inhale, open, and let's do three more. Use your whole palm here, really pressing the floor away with your hand, staying lifted in that shoulder. Last one. And all the way back to where we started, coming out of that carefully, and let's switch sides. 
So again, if you're setting up in that modification, hand is under shoulder, maybe slightly ahead of the shoulder, but not too far. Bottom leg is bent, top leg is long, and you're here for your modification. If you're going to do the full, we come with that front foot staggered, really connect with your abdominals here, long in your spine, and we exhale to rotate down. Inhale, open, and exhale, rotate. Exhale, pulling down, and open, and twisting around, let's do three more, inhale, squeeze your inner thighs, And last one. Coming up with that gently. Switch sides again. Coming around onto your side. We're going to squeeze the legs together, reaching right out of the hips. So you don't want them ahead or behind us. We're going to hold here. Visualize you're trying to hold a $100 bill between your knees. Take big breath in, exhale as both legs hover. Inhale as they lower down. Now we're trying to lighten up on this front hand. You can use it for support, but try not to rely on it or lean on it too much. Exhale, pulling up. And inhale down. And up. And down. And we're really feeling all the side obliques, top of the hip here, and the inner thighs. And down. Let's do three more there. All the air comes out on your exhales. And last one. And back. Switching sides. Over to the other side. Resting your head on your arm. And again, we're not relying or leaning on this hand, but we are using it just for a little bit of balance. And we are squeezing those inner thighs together, reaching through past the toes, energy through the whole leg, exhale. <clears throat> as we come up and inhale as we lower with control. What does it take to bring the abdominals a little closer when we're lying on sideline? And reaching the leg down, checking with this top shoulder, make sure it hasn't crept up into your ears. And down. Let's do three more. Squeeze the inner thighs, lift and lower. And down. And last one. And lowering down. <clears throat> We're going to come to our knees and grab onto the weights, one in each hand. Now, in this position, we just want to really make sure that your glutes are on, okay? So we want to have as much work happening on the back of the body as we do on the front. We're going to go into some thigh stretches. You want to keep the balance between the abdominals and the back working together so that one isn't overtaking the other. And we're going to slope the arms out in front. We're going to reach back, lengthening through the thighs. We're going to do a bicep curl and reach the arms out. 
and back on top. So big breath in here. Exhale as you float back. Turn your palms. Inhale, exhale, bicep curl. Reach the arms back up and exhale as we get nice and tall. And again, exhaling back. Inhale and exhale into a bicep curl. Reach the arms out. Exhale. Nice and tall. And again, arms float, leaning back. Glutes are on, abdominals are on. Exhale, <coughs> excuse me, exhale into a bicep curl. Reach the arms out and pulling up. Let's do three more. Arms. Exhaling into your thigh stretch. Exhale into your bicep curl. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, lower back nice and tall. Breathe in, reset. Exhale back. Inhale, exhale into your bicep curl. Inhale as you reach those arms out and forward. Exhale, we're up tall. And again, breathing in, exhale back. Breathing in, exhale, bicep curl. And reach the arms out. Exhale, pulling up. And I've lost count, let's do one more. Exhale back. Inhale, exhale, bicep curl. Reach the arms out long. And last one here, exhale. We're nice and tall. Last exercise for this workout, we're going to do some shoulders, bringing the arms in front of you. Palms are facing in with the weight. You can absolutely do this and the previous exercise without weight. We're going to open, exhale into an pull the shoulders back. Inhale, pull in. Exhale and open. And inhale. In. We really want to watch the rib cage as we squeeze those arms back and in. Squeezing back and in. Squeeze it back. Pull the shoulder blades towards each other and in. Every time those arms go back, the abdominals draw inwards and back. Check in with your glutes. Are they still working for you? And back. Let's do three more. Open. And back. And again. And back. And open. And back. Holding there. Let's reach out. Skull crusher. Pull in. And reach out. And skull crush in. And reach, watch the shoulders, and back. Let's do three more, these are intense. Reach, and pull in, and reach, and pull. Last one, reach, and pulling in. Lowering your weights, letting them go. Let's just do a little bit of arm circles, releasing the shoulders all that plank work, all those weights. And let's go the other way also. Back, opening through the chest. And let's go in just specifically into the shoulder blades, rolling them back four times. And then forward four times. Really getting them nice and mobile. You should feel really strong and mobile in your mid-back after this workout. And let's clasp the hands behind us, squeezing the shoulder blades. And if you can, you're going to lift your hands away from your bum just slightly, opening through the chest. It can be really intense through the arms. Let's release the, hip, the hips and lean forward over the thighs, letting the arms reach up behind you. You may not get very high, 
I can barely lift mine up. And let's release those arms. Nice and heavy, letting your arms come down beside your body, curling up into a little cocoon. And breathing deeply. See if you can release your lower back, letting your tailbone float down towards your heels. Your forehead can rest. And then let's bring those arms overhead, back to a proper shell. Still breathing deeply into the tops of your lungs. And then start to inch your fingertips forward, staying round in your spine, dragging your fingertips towards your knees. Coming up to a vertical position, roll the shoulder blades a couple more times. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for working out with me. Have a great day.